let's take a step back a little bit because you mentioned publishing um, yeah. and you also mentioned Amazon. So is it for Amazon publishing that you're going to be doing with authors? Is that kind of what you're doing? That's pretty much how I work. So I work, I work with publishers and authors on, they, all, they, they, they publish on Amazon, you know, iBooks, uh, Nook, Google Play, Kobo, you know, it, it's, we're talking about eBooks here, guys, eBooks and audiobooks. Cool. And for yourself, how did you end up getting in that niche? Because you mentioned before that you did some writing, but you're not really writing much. Anymore. No, I had, my, I had a publishing house with a few partners. And uh, I mean, I, I started off as an author, you know, but I kind of like the marketing side a little bit more just because of the fact that it's a lot, it was a lot more fun, you know, <laughs> it's a lot more fun. So Definitely. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I just, I just liked it a lot more, you know, so I ended up just becoming like a full-time marketer really. Yeah. And that's pretty much how I got into it, you know? Yeah. Because it's much harder to make money as an author where you're kind of sitting and you got to write and focus. It's, and yeah, I, I would say process. so. I would say so because I mean, people have, a, people have got down to science, you know, the only issue is like trying to make money on a 35 cent product, like 99 cents, 2.99, 3.99. It's like really hard to make money, you know? So it's, this industry is really, really challenging. That's why you don't see a lot of people in marketing in this area, just because of the fact that people don't have money to work with. But uh, what I usually end up doing was I usually just take a one-time fee and then I just do a percentage deals because it's more performance based and uh, our interests are aligned, you know? So, but audiobooks have been like really, really interesting because of the fact that nobody in the space really does audiobooks as heavily as I do right now. Um, you know, not a lot of people understand how to like make money with them, you know? So it's been really great for me, you know? Yeah, exactly. Because that's what we talked about. Because Bobby, and just a bit of backstory, Bobby and I actually originally met each other in London in October. That was face to face. We've been chatting since like March or yeah. since February or something. Um, but yeah, we met in London for the, I think it was during the Grow Your Agency party. It was a night yeah. before the Grow Your Agency party that Iman hosted. Um, it's a super beautiful building, the Brunswick. It's called the Brunswick yeah. building. I think yeah. it's called absolutely gorgeous building. Bobby actually stayed for the weekend after because he did one of the masterminds, yeah. uh, the Meridian masterminds. Uh, I did the Meridian mastermind back in September of 2018 and uh, Bobby stuck around for a little bit after, but I just remember yourself, Bobby, when you're mentioning audiobooks and yeah. oh, that's a brand new niche because, um, or it's not really something that people have really thought about or gotten really into so far. Um, yeah. So if you want to give a bit of backstory on what are the key differences between uh, advertising for publishers um, and authors versus the audiobooks that go along with the um, with the actual. No, market. so for audiobooks, I mean the thing about ebooks though, it's, it's very very competitive now. Like you really have to like really dive into it. It's very competitive. Um, audiobooks, on the other hand, you have fatter margins. You can make five ten dollars a royalty, um, meaning you make more money. Uh, but the thing is, you, it, it's the same stuff though. It's like it's a different platform you're competing on, but it's an emerging like platform, like 99% of the people don't know how to make money on that platform, you know? But uh, I've, I spent a lot of time with people <laughs> understanding how it works, you know, some of the bigger players. So I pretty much figured out how to make money with the platform. It's really not that difficult now for me. And I pretty much bring people on board. I'm like, look, like you can either take my course or and do it yourself, or you can just come work with me and I'll make you money, you know? So <laughs> that's, that's pretty much, you know, so a lot of people like just think about it and they're like, yeah, I think I'll just like buy your course. I'll just like work with you, you know? Um, yeah, you know? Yeah, and as I think, a, as, yeah, as right. a side but thing. I'm, the, the thing about audiobooks though is here's the best part. I don't have to run ads to these audiobooks. It's, I basically have my own method, like funnel creation, automation sequences and uh, leveraging people's brands and, we do run Facebook ads, but we don't run Facebook ads directly to the books. We just run Facebook ads to build brands, you know? So, I mean, it's just, that's, that's the best part is it's replicatable. I can, I literally taught my project manager how to do it. Uh, he got it in like the first day and he was able to do it for other people. So because it's literally cookie cutter in a way, it's, it's like, it's like when Iman shared his, uh, you know, the uh, click funnel thing for your onboarding sequence. Absolutely. That's it's, always my Think about thing. that. Yeah. It's, it's literally cookie cutter for my agency. So whenever I bring someone on board, it's like, there's no variations we have to kind of deal with. It's just, we have pre we have like a preset standard as to what you have to do. And that's what we love, you know? It's like, we don't have to run crazy ad campaigns. It's like, that. that's why I think it appeals to a lot of people, especially the authors and publishers, because we're like, look, like you can spend five, 10, 20 grand trying to make money with your eBooks, or let's just make audiobooks 
and slay the competition and make money, you know? So that's pretty much, you know, what I've been doing. And I charge 25% gross for one year is my minimum. So basically people come over for one year contract and I take 25% of the revenue. It doesn't matter. Like if they, that, that means I make money every month, you know? Um, I mean, obviously it's performance based, you know, because I have clients who want to make sure they're making money, you know, but so far it's going pretty well, you know? 